hello. So I've spent. Oh my god, you can see your legs. Yeah, the same. I'm still in the frame. <laughs> Move out or get in. So I've spent the last <laughs> two weeks. What? I'm just standing here. I can't even see you. You're too far away. I have sugar in my hair. So I've spent the last two weeks in Seoul and I've been collecting some snacks to test that I've never tried before. And it was very hard because I just wanted to eat them. Well, you're gonna eat all of them right now? <laughs> because yeah, we're but, leaving but, in like two hours. Yeah, we're leaving for our flight in like literally two hours. So I'm not gonna eat all of them, I'm just gonna taste them. Okay. Snack test! Did it intro. <laughs> but what is it? It's real cheese ramen, real cheese and I, ramen. I don't want to eat it because I'm lactose intolerant and I'm going to sit on a plane for like 10 hours. I will feel Man, sad for you. It smells like cheese. Why are you on the side? <laughs> it doesn't taste like cheese though. It tastes like cheese. No. It tastes like cheese popcorn. No. It tastes so weird. I know. You don't like it? Right. One to ten. Four. Four out of ten. That's kind of good. Yeah. I read it two out of ten. Two. Okay. Yeah. Mostly because I'm gonna feel bad. Okay. Snack test number two. Pumpkin drink. Snack test! <laughs> Is it a tea or a soup? I don't know. It comes in a pack. What? Yeah, you don't know if it's a tea or soup. <laughs> I say soup. This is a pumpkin soup in tea format. But it's not in tea format. It's in a boy format. It comes in little boy packets. Okay, it's it's soup. It's just. Soup. Did you drop something in my soup? No, there was something on your cup. Oh. I waited a for a soup on a cold autumn day. I waited a. 5.7 out of 10 I like this Yeah It's very good <laughs> It has something to do with cherry blossoms Not sure what I'm gonna read Read it Doesn't make sense It's like a quote on the front it's like a key <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'll just taste them. It's like honey, honey screws. Honey screws with ter terry? Cherry blossom flavor? I could tell by the back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the thing with Korean snacks is the packaging is impossible. Have you also noticed this? No. Okay. It's because you have one brain cell. And I share it with you. <laughs> Ah, they look like them. Amazing. Oh, well, damn, it's crunchy. It's like Rice Krispies. Oh, damn, I like this. Mmm, it tastes like Rice Krispies, but a lot chunkier and a lot crispier. A little bit of honey, but not too much, so it's not too sweet. Don't taste the cherry blossom, though. I don't know if there is any cherry blossom. The bag this. is also pretty full, which is good. They're very crunchy, like really hard. Yeah, I've always wondered what this cherry blossom tastes like. I don't know. Like, I haven't eaten the like. flower. I've eaten some things to, with cherry blossom. Like, I don't flavor. like this. You don't? Tastes okay. weird. I give it a 6 out of 10. You sounded way more excited than a 6. Yeah, but I'm, I'm very critical. It needs to be amazing in every way. It left kind of a like tacky sensation in my mouth. Okay, next we have these. They look like churros. I think they are churros. Yeah, it says churros. Yeah. I can't read Korean, but yeah. Um, so in the back it says Spain. Hola! Chino! <laughs> churros! Spain! A good packaging, I believe. It's also pretty full. Smells terrible. Um, so it's like if you 
you cooked a churro. No, you didn't cook. You made a churro. Then you left it to get cold, and then you burnt it. That sounds terrible. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, that's a like. I could eat this if I was desperate, because it's like it is cinnamony. 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 <laughs> it has a good cinnamon taste. It does have <laughs> a good crunch, but yeah, no, that's like a. 1.7 out of 10 i think yeah okay so next up we have this is yum yum i believe from meiji and it's creamy strawberry flavored dip biscuit snack you oh okay yeah so you dip you dip it in the strawberry thingy oh. yeah you can't bring that no i know but it tastes so artificial you you can't bring it on the plane yeah i know so you have to eat it now if it's delicious it's not. Okay. It's not. It tastes just like the strawberry pokey. So if you like strawberry pokey, you're gonna love this. Like the breadstick is a little more dry and thicker and has more crunch. But like the strawberry flavor is exactly the same. So I don't like it. I think two. A solid two out of ten. Next up is the pepero, which is like the Korean version of pokey and it's supposed to be it's double dipped for some reason what is yeah double it's, dip it's mean? double dipped and it's i think it's supposed to taste like cafe latte i don't really know let's let's try it says if it does on the box but i can't read korean and i can't read because you're too far away then we'll just be blind it comes in these smaller bags it looks like a little drumstick it's really weird yeah Okay, so it does taste like coffee. It actually has like a stronger coffee taste than most coffee I've eat, drank, drank in Korea. It's not very creamy, it's more like you can feel that it's powder mixed to be cream. I don't know, maybe... But I still like it and it's chocolate but also coffee and bread. A breadstick. So I say I'm gonna stop being so cranky about my ratings and give this a five out of ten. It's a Willy Wonka. Everything in one fika. Oh it's a God. full meal. True. Full meal stick. Okay, so next we have these two honey butter editions. This one is cherry blossom and this one is purple. <laughs> Lavender? Is it lavender? Yeah, yeah, it's lavender. So I'm gonna try this one first because I don't know what lavender is supposed to taste like. Okay, so it tastes exactly like your toilet does after you clean it with lavender soap. Not that I tasted it. <laughs> It tastes exactly like your toilet smells. Yeah. So I'm not a fan of that. I think if I if I'd never smelled lavender scent in a setting that also included like human feces, I think I might like it. But <laughs> maybe like a four out of ten. Yeah. I'm thinking about how your thesis and feces was about the same way. Yeah, yesterday I thought feces and theses was spelled like the eces was spelled the same way. But it was today. It's been a very long day. But I'm dyslectic, so that's okay. Next up is the cherry blossom edition. So let's try that. It smells good. Oh, yeah, I actually like this. It feels very like it's strange to say this about crisps. But it tastes kind of fresh. And like the crisps themselves are just like ordinary honey butter crisps, but they just taste like cherry blossom. I do not know how to describe the taste of cherry blossom. Can I taste? Yeah. It tastes like plant. Yeah. I don't like it. Well, so these I give a solid 7 out of 10 because I really like them, but not enough to give them a 10. You know? Mm. Moving on past crisps. 
So we have two different sour roll thingies. And because I tend not to like strawberry, I'm gonna try that one first. Okay, so. Oh yeah, I forgot to, this one. And it's natural colors and flavors, that's good. It comes in this little roll that I assume is one meter long. You should measure it, see if it's a scam. It's actually sour. I did not expect that, but it is actually sour. It's not as sour as I like sour things to be, but it is sour. And the strawberry flavor isn't horrible, which I usually think it is. So that's very good. Can I taste? Yeah. Yeah, this is actually decent. Yeah. It's like a six out of 10. Yeah, exactly. It's a six out of 10. It's, it's really decent. It's like I would eat it if someone bought it for me. Yeah, but I wouldn't buy it myself exactly. if I wasn't desperate. Okay, so the apple flavored one. I usually really like things that are sour and are apple flavored because that means it's sour apple flavored and that is the best thing to be. You look disappointed. Why does it taste like this? It's so sweet. I give that like a 5 out of 10 because it's... It is sour and it does taste like apple, but it tastes very artificial and very sweet. It tastes like my apple juice. Yeah. When you bought an apple juice here, like when you Because I thought juice, it was a safe bet. It wasn't. But it, it was, tasted crap. It was so sugary. It was terrible. It was like this, but in liquid form. Yeah. Exactly the same. Not good. Sour apple in liquid form. Yeah, no. Not good. So no. that's like a five, four, a four, a four out of ten. I changed my mind. A four out of ten. Okay, so we also have these. I don't know what this is at all. It, I think it's some jelly jelly thing that's strawberry flavored. Okay, so they look like this. <laughs> they feel like a moldy beauty blender, so not the best thing to be. That reminds me of the things, the sweets that I ate when I was little and desperate for sugar in the worst possible way. That was actually terrible, that's like a 1 out of 10. So it felt like a moldy beauty blender and it, when you touched it and it also like in your mouth felt like you were chewing a moldy beauty blender. And the taste was really like 100% artificial didn't taste good at all because some artificial things can taste good but like this was just no okay so we have the same thing with grape flavor like that um i'm just hoping for this to taste better i don't expect it to feel any better oh man it tastes disgusting like grape flavor is always a hit or miss but this is worse than a miss. This is a miss hitting you in the face. Yeah. How does a miss hit you? I don't know, but this is this is it. Oh man, that's so bad. Oh man, that was disgusting. That's like a one zero point five out of ten. So I think the last thing that we have today are these thingies with they come in four different flavors. Um not sure what they are. I think it's a chewing gum. Okay, so this is the watermelon flavor. Subak. Subak. We'll soon find out if the subak is suragi or not. Damn! These are the sweets your dentist warned you about. These are the sweets that will rip out your teeth. Okay, so initial taste wasn't good. After chewing a few times, it gets a little better. It does not taste like watermelon in the slightest it's kind of okay very hard to chew like really hard to chew it's like when you get meat that's so well done that you never stop chewing you're just stuck at dinner forever you'll be chewing till you die or you spit it out <coughs> do not know what flavor that is supposed to be but Dear Lord. Okay, this one is a lot better. I think without the aftertaste of the watermelon one, this could actually be okay. 
I'm gonna give an like the whole bag an overall grade after I've tasted all of them. Okay, so this is the shark one. It's, it's juice flavor. Whatever juice. It's shark juice. That's disturbing. Yes, it's extremely hard to chew. How are kids supposed to eat these without dying? Okay, so this tastes like a blend between the sweets your grandma gave you and something you find at the very back of a convenience store. I don't understand why this is so hard to chew. Well, I think this is cola. Oh fuck! How do they get progressively harder to chew? Okay, this tastes like every other cola flavored thing ever. They all taste exactly the same. I think this maybe it's a little sweeter, but that's that. When you especially sniffing the package. Well, it smells like tobacco. What? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. But like only a little. It smells so bad. That's how they keep the nicotine consumption going while it's being banned everywhere. Don't buy that <laughs> ever if you don't like suffering or have a terrible, terrible taste in sweets. Um, so that actually concludes this taste test. It's really, it's a, it, what? It was, it was a very short taste test with not a lot of things to taste, but yeah, I think we concluded that I don't like Korean snacks that much. This bag, like if you could smell the bag, you would die. That's how bad it is. Yeah. So anyway, I think I prefer Swedish snacks and the sweets. Definitely. Except for these, like surprisingly, this sour strawberry flavored roll was the best thing that I tasted. That's terrible. Yeah, that's terrible. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I know. That says a lot about the <laughs> snacks that I just tasted. Uh, so coming to Korea, if you ever do, be careful of what snacks you buy. If you don't like, if you don't really like sweet things, like stick to crisps. There are a few that can be kind of savory and salty most of them are actually also sweet but they're not as yeah. terrible <laughs> if you're here and you haven't tasted like the good the real good seaweed snacks you should definitely try that because they're salty and crispy and really nice and also very easy to take with you because they don't take a lot of space so yeah this was a uh, very tired and messy taste test but thank you for watching uh thank you Wenyu for helping me film and uh, you're welcome i think i ruined more no it's okay help. good content and i'll uh, see you next time bye